Rocky Herb Guy here. Today I'm in Lanzarote and I'm in the resort of Puerto del Carmen. I'm just outside my hotel Lanzarote village and we're going to go for a walk down the beach, hopefully all the way to Playa Chica. Let's go. Okay guys, so I'm just outside the spa. We've got Spoon's Bar here as well. There's an Indian restaurant here too. I believe this is the area, the main strip where the restaurants start. So let's just take a walk down here and we'll see what we find. All right, so we've got a smaller beach up here. The family's playing on the beach. Looks like a nice beach there. Yeah, I think I'll come here after and check out that beach. Okay, I'm just gonna have to just shimmy over this wire here so I can get on the right side again. Okay. Sorrento Italiano, Sorrento Italiano, Tecos Libras, Liquors, Tobaccos, Shops, I suppose. And you've got another Sally Jones Irish bar up there. Oh wow, this looks like all well the bars and everything is. 67. It's one of those car things that someone was driving earlier. So I think this is the main strip where all the action happens. Loads of shops here to get beach stuff. If you need it, flip flops. You've got Bollywood, Tanjuri here as well. 67, Farm Grill up the top. Slot machines and some sports bedding. Okay. So it's like the main area. You've also got some cool places to sit. Just look out onto the beach. There we go. There's another angle of the beach. I can see it. Very nice. And it looks like a nice restaurant, the Fantasia. Fantasia restaurant overlooking the beach. All right, well, I'm gonna pick one of these places to come and have a drink afterwards, I would say. I wonder what happens if I walk into that bit. There's another row of shops that runs parallel. You've got the Codfather there. Well, and there's a nice restaurant here, Tamasha. 
Tamasha, Spice of Life. All right. It's a real estate property place here. Let's just have a quick look. I haven't got any of the prices here, I don't think. Oh, there we go. There's one here. If you can see that in reflection. Arasifi, 250,000 euros. Most of the shops are going to be shut today because it is Sunday. Wow, that one's like 2.4 million. Yeah. Very nice. What's the cheapest one here? 255, there you go. It's a bit like more, more like my budget. Okay. There's a crazy mini golf place up the top here. Wow, this is a cool area. There's a, a car rental place here, plus car, Hawaiian and bar. And you've got Cabrera Medina car hire as well. I was going to hire a car during this trip. It was about £20 a day. And this one was like quite a nice car. So I think if you're going to budget, you need about £25 a day. Do these have the prices on them? say for a Fiat 500 yeah you're looking about 20 pounds a day something along those lines and then it goes up from there depending on the size of the car but a five days would have been about 150 pounds sterling there's a motorbike moto and bike rental place as well so they've got scooters electric bikes they've got mobility scooters here as well if you need that you can even get the giraffe one looks quite fun. All right. Oh, this is really nice, this bit. There's everything here, all the shops and everything. Actually, maybe I should have stayed here in this one. But it is a bit quieter where I am. There's a few shops around. This seems to be the heart of the place. Hustle and the butter, ice cream shops, jewellery shops, pretty much everything. You've got the Yen Renidos L Club, Barcelona the pork shop. getting open. It is lunch time now. And loads of kids shops with toys and everything. Buckets and spades. We are outside. Cheriga, player, restaurants. Okay, let's have a look at the menu. So you guys can get an idea of some of the prices. You can start at like 16.50 euros and, and go up all the way up from there. Let's say shopping mall. It looks like a shopping mall. Maybe it's just one shop. Koala Bay. I've never seen a Koala Bay before. All right, that looks pretty cool. Right, maybe I'll pop in there on the way back. It's quite nice. Never heard of Koala Bay. Maybe it's some Australian brand. All right, let's continue here. Another rental car place, and here's one of my favourite shops, Alley Hot. I always go in here to get some stuff. We actually got some of the Christmas bits out here. And this is a famous cow. It's cool. Alright, Alley Hot. 
Yep. Check that out later. Wow, there's just loads of shops and bars here. It's a great place. Obviously, this is like a cocktail bar. That looks pretty good. La Playa. That was like a. That's like a shop. Like a label. Sells the same kind of stuff. There's another bar here. Hong Kong Shopping Centre. There's another bar here. Uh, we're outside the casino and we've got the Golden Corner cocktail bar here, which looks pretty cool. And here's the casino just here. So I'll come here maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow night after my excursion. Get up early in the morning. So I'll do that in a long Tuesday. Okay, goofy burger here, more restaurants. We've got a bistro Lo Ala here. Took a massive restaurant on the on the beach. I wonder what Goofy Burger is like. It's actually got the logo of Goofy on it as well. Chinese Thai restaurant, Hong Kong. The Mina. All right, let's walk down the hill and see where we end up. Trattoria restaurant on the right. El Kiesco looks very popular for some reason. Everyone seems to have congregated there. What a fantastic walk here. And if you look on the other side, you've got all the beautiful sea. I'm just standing above some bungalows here. Which are no doubt available for rent. So this part of Perth is the common. It's quite different from the other area where I am. This is what the hotel receptionist was referring to as the strip, where all the action is happening. So if you want to be in the middle of the action say somewhere around here will be the area to be in. All right there's a little walkway here so I'm just gonna have a quick nosy around here on this bit. There we go it's beautiful that little beach here. I'm outside the official exchange bit. Actually this bit looks familiar. There's another YouTuber called Vince. PH. So Vince does daily videos and I'm pretty sure he does it around here somewhere. Because this looks really familiar. You've got this bit on the corner and you've got 
All right, well, there's plenty of choice in this part here. If you want to get some food, We've got tapas. I wonder if they've got the gambas al pim pim, which is what I normally have when I'm here, just to continue with my favorite dish. Luna restaurant and grill. We've got the Dubliner, or Albliner. Let's say Dubliner. Albliner. Okay, so plenty of choices. It's that dude on that motorbike again. I saw him at the beginning of the video. I think he needs a silencer on that exhaust pipe. That's way too noisy. Right, outside the crazy loop. Well, actually, this looks like a nice view here. Let's see if I can get at this bit here. This looks like a little shop that's shut. But if I'm along the coast, I may as well film it. Oh, it's a disused Indian restaurant. Been boarded up, bricked up. I tell you what, that would be a cracking investment, wouldn't it? And that's the view from the top. Beautiful view. All right, let's continue. Back out from the main bit. It's great you've got the cycle lane here. So people can go cycling, keep fit, go for a jog. Jewelry shops, pretty much got everything here. I've got an idea. Why don't I come down here at night time? And I'll film what it's like at night time. So you guys can get a, a view of that. So I'm outside the California bar. We've got the Asian kitchen here as well. Teppanyaki show. Which is always great. So you've pretty much got every single cuisine you could imagine here. And you've got a pub as well. So pretty much everything. All the facilities, there's a pharmacy here as well. And um, here's another nice view of the beach. That is a cracking property. It's right on the beach. Well, I imagine I'm about 30 minutes into the video now. So, let's continue as far as we can go. I'm gonna try and get to Playa La Chica Beach, if I can. That's where I'm heading. And then what I'll do is maybe I'll make another video on the way back and grab some nice lunch somewhere. That sounds like a good plan. Just gonna stop here for a minute. Got some stones in my shoe. This lovely little beach area here. I'm pretty certain he makes his videos, he's around here somewhere. Okay, so here's a cracking bit of beach here. Very nice, small, intimate beach area. And I'm just outside Palm Bay. This is a tea, cakes and snacks. 
cafe. This is continue. Yeah, as I was saying, there's another YouTuber called Vince PH who lives in, I believe, Porto de Cana, this area here. And he does a daily video. And I've been watching his daily videos, which are really cool. And I believe it's, he films it in this area here somewhere. So let's carry on. I remember there's a few restaurants outside where he's normally filming. I believe it's around here somewhere. It might have been on that little bit there, or it might be a bit further down. So. country in western night, on to Texas, if you fancy a bit of country dancing. There's another beach area here guys, let's just have a quick look at this. Right, the beach seems to go all the way around up to that white building in the distance. So what I'm going to do is keep walking. Keep walking, keep filming and we'll try and get to a point where I'm at the end of the beach. Which hopefully, a bit of luck, is play Chica. And I'll grab some lunch and then head back and I'm just amazed with the variety of restaurants here you've got pretty much everything you need on your doorstep and you've got the beach opposite what more could you want I think this is a perfect location for a holiday sit at the bar, watch the world go by, or you can sit on the beach, rockus blankus bar. Right, I'm going uphill. Love all the palm trees, so many people here. And what I've seen is we've got a combination of, oh here's a map, elderly people, maybe they're retired, but you've also got young folks here as well. Here is the map, and I am right here, right there. This is Playa Grande, aha, okay. So I have to continue walking around, hit that beach and then Playa Chica is right at the end. So this is Playa Grande Beach. Let's go and have a closer look down here. Yeah, as I was saying, there's lots of holiday makers out here. I've heard people speaking French, English, course and I believe there's other national nationalities here as well I'm sure there's folks from the Nordics here that is a very nice beach Okay, that is a crack in the beach. 
Loads of families out today, Sunday. So lots of nationalities here. We've got people from Ireland, Wales, Scotland, England. We've got French, people from the Nordics, Sweden. I've heard a number of different accents. German as well. So it's very cosmopolitan. People from all over the world really. That is a good beach. The packing location as well. That's cool. People have like put padlocks here. It's fence bit. Riley's bar there on the right. There's O'Reilly's. Mr. Cool's on the corner. Let's take a little shortcut here. Seems a bit more beach. Just gonna put the selfie stick. Okay, outside the American Indian Cafe. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some of these restaurants in the other YouTube videos that I've been watching as part of my research and preparation before I made the trip out here. So there is a fair bit of work that I do before I come out here with like equipment and things like that ready and then planning routes so th there's a bit of work involved with making these videos maybe that's a video I do it's a separate video one day how I make and produce these videos for all the youtubers for the audiences for other youtubers who create content as well That'll be pretty cool. In essence, what I do is watch as many videos as I can of other YouTubers in the place that I'm going to. And there's a number that I watch. I watch Walk With Me, Tim, or Walk With Tim. He's pretty good. He goes all over the world, Lanzarote. He's done a number of places in the UK. Uh, walk with me Tim he's also been in Gibraltar a few times which is awesome I've been there too and the other guy that I've been watching recently is Vince so Vince is a youtuber who lives here what is that Carmen Just daily videos. All right. I tell you what, this place looks all right, isn't it? Is it Long Beach Club? Long Beach Club. Sorry. Long Beach Club, Lanzarote. Some music in the bar. Okay, I think it's time for a drink. Okay, let's go and check this place out. Okay folks, I did a quick pit stop here at the Long Beach Bar. It's a great bar overlooking the beach. You can check it out. And I struck up a conversation with a guy called Mike who uh, worked in the AI industry 
working on AI technology for cars. So I spent 20 minutes talking about photography and creativity and video filming and art and other cool technology. Maybe the AI video is one I do another time and talk about tech. So let's continue the walk here. I'm outside Ruta 66. Here it is. Looks like a cool bar as well. So Mike gave me some good suggestions to just keep on walking up to Play Chica, so that's where I'm gonna head to. And he also told me about someone doing the horn. The old town as well, which is in this direction. So I'm gonna head towards that. He also did recommend this restaurant here, the Black Buffalo, which is next to La Italia, Italian. He said this place does great steaks. So this might be a good place to come to later on. Did recommend that restaurant. And he also made another recommendation, which was to go and check out the aeroplane to Arasifi Airport because apparently you can walk right down to the beach and get a good shot of the aeroplanes landing. So I might go and do that later tonight. And there is a good shot of the beach. We've got hammocks, parasols. Yeah, on the beach. And I'm gonna hit that a bit later. So I'm just outside Oriental World. Just gonna flip the camera around and let's continue. Wild. Okay, it looks like this promenade it zigzags all the way around to the beach. So, if you can see that massive crane in the distance, that is where I'm headed. And I'm going to try and pick up some landmarks along the way as well. There's a nice TP type artwork that someone's created. Just see so you guys get a bearing of where I am when you watch this video. There's another Sea View restaurant here. Sea View, it's pretty popular. Okay. And the park not started along all over the place. Okay, here's a map here. Let's have a quick look at the map. So I can just see where we are. Avenida de las Playas. Place and we are just there. So we're at Play Blanca, Play Grande, and walking up to Play Chica, which is a small beach here. So let's continue. This is a great beach, blue flag as well. Lots of people out and about. The restaurants are absolutely heaving here, all of them. There must be so many tourists here this time of year. Now oh, this is fantastic. And I was talking to my brother earlier who said uh, back home it's a bit windy and it's raining. Okay, so I really do feel for everyone who's back at home in the UK. Although it's amazing, you can jump on the flight and about four and a half hours later, you're here in the sunshine. And the great thing about Lanzarote and the Canary Islands is that there's pretty good weather all year round. If you have a look at the average temperature in Lanzarote, you'll find that it doesn't really dip below 25 from what I can see. So the weather is pretty consistent here all year round. Which is amazing because it means I may well come back in December for my next trip. I haven't decided where I'm going yet. Although it could be that I hit one of the other islands here. So I've done Tenerife, Gran Canaria earlier this year. 
as you might have seen from my other videos and now Lanzarote okay right loads of restaurants here it's the number 12 bus there's some more bars and restaurants up the top there you've got Gallagher, Stabio Girls Indian Aroma and Barra's karaoke bar yeah, this is definitely the uh, the main area I would say to come and chill out and it's like these guys are doing some sports here so there's these locks on the chain here let's get a let's get a shot of these guys here it's like they're playing some kind of sport frisbee game from the frisbee and it's a, oh it's like you have to pass the frisbee to one another and I guess get it to the other side oh this is a brilliant game so it's a bit like I guess football but you play with a frisbee oh what a throw that was that guy didn't catch it he did touchdown I've never seen this game before Looks amazing. Frisbee game. Bloody hell. What a great way to spend a Saturday afternoon, or Sunday afternoon rather. And they're all playing it here. So I guess this is the Frisbee game beach. So if you wanna come down here, have a beer. There's a bar down there, it looks like it as well. We'll grab a beer and uh, play this frisbee game. I've never seen this before. I thought they were playing volleyball or something in the distance. Yeah, this is a great lifestyle here. It's superb. I think that you can come down here on Sunday and play your frisbee game on the beach. The sun's out, surf's out. Life is good. Right, we're outside the Flying Dutchman. Restaurant with some more mobility scooters and bikes to hire. We're near the Galleon. another bus so when I was uh, talking to Mike earlier he told me about the buses there is a bus that goes down to Playa Blanca which I might get do that it's either the 161 or the 60 I do have a map so I will check that and see if I can see if I can take that Right, it looks like there's some kind of lighthouse there in the future. Let's head towards that. Tropicana Grill. These places are packed up. I mean, there must be a lot of holiday makers here at the moment. Maybe there's lots of holiday makers all year round. Boutique Deluxe Shop. And it looks like the shops have kind of just ended abruptly here. Maybe that boutique deluxe shop was the last one. Now you've got other shops. You've got Higo Boss. It's like some kind of shopping centre. Maybe a shopping mall. Trends. Tracks it look pretty nice. Green one. I might speed this part of the video up and see. 
Ja, ja. Okay, folks, I made it to play Chica Beach. I had to go through some residential area to get here. There's a promenade bit here. So I'm gonna walk back and have a look at this. And this is a lovely little beach. Quite a lot of people here. It's quite small, like the Playa Grande Beach. And there you have it, and if you look behind, all those are apartments, all the apartments, houses. Looks like there's a bit more construction going on there. And then there you have it, okay, here at Chica Beach. So at this point, what I'm going to do is head back on the promenade and take a walk, back to some restaurants, grab a drink, and grab some lunch. And I'll leave with you with this beautiful shot. Yeah. It's amazing how the rocks will break the surf up. It looks like it's a really gentle beach here. Great for kids, great for families. Great way to spend a Sunday afternoon. Hey, Chica Beach has a different name, this beach. I will try and find out the name of this beach and pop it in the chat. And there you have another lovely rocky beach my kind of beach this shop sure. this one's next to play cheeky beach beautiful i think we'll stop getting the water i think yeah let's do that grab some lunch see you guys soon i think i'm gonna end the video we're probably about an hour into the video if you made it this far thanks so much for watching rocky earth guy here Check out some more videos of Lanzarote. I'll be going around the mountains tomorrow. So look out for that. And look out for some of the hotel reviews as well. All the best. See you soon.